Okay, so we've got our movie data imported from that JSON file, and now we're just printing out the headers. Let's go print out the rest of the data from the table. And so, again, kind of hearkening back to what we've done in the past, let's go in and now in our table, instead of the header, we'll go in and add the table body. And then as part of that table body, we're going to have different elements. Now we're, we're going to have a, a table row containing what information. So we're going to have in that table row a column that is what. So we got to go out and get the elements. Now we're getting this from the, the movie data, but we want to get one record at a time. So how are we going to do that? We could go put in a loop. We could we could uh, you know arrange to to make it work that way. But we learned that we have this beautiful thing called mapping, where we can go out and say, let's go out to the 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 movie data sample that we've created. So this constant that is bringing the data in from the movie data. Let's go out to that movie. And I even misspelled it. And look, it doesn't care. It's it's just using the same exact name. So this is the movie data sample. I probably should name these things a little less similar. So the name of the file is movie data. Within that file, we have movie data blah, and that is essentially the name of the table, is the way I think about it. And then we have those entries in there. And so back to our uh, app.tsx, we're going out to the movie data.json file and we're putting it into a a variable called uh, movie data, an object called movie data. So we say, go out to that movie data object, go grab the blah information and put that into a const that's in our TSX file here called movie data sample. So that information is sitting in there now in the movie data sample. So I go to movie data sample and I say, and it's not a, an angle bracket by the way, it's an opening brace. I just looked at my notes. Movie data sample dot map. And then in this map, I need to say, uh, it's gonna come in parentheses, so let me put the parentheses in there. And then I need to have a name that I'm giving the information that's gonna be coming through here. I'll just call it M. And that is gonna be equal to a function that goes out and prints out the individual row. So I'll start with the parentheses, and uh, in here is where we're gonna then have our table row. And so let me grab this data and drop it in. So each time we loop through this, essentially, each element of this mapping of the data is gonna have the same structure. It's gonna have a row, and then it's gonna have a column, and what goes in the column is the individual element. So again, picture this like a for loop, and this is the variable we've set up that's gonna be the one that's uh, the name of the thing as we come through the X or whatever, that, as we come through each time. So we're gonna go out to the M, and we're gonna get the, the title. It's not IntelliSensing for me, which makes me a little bit worried. What did I do wrong? Let's do a control S and see what we've got. T body, opening tag, I have a closing tag. Oh, that, no, that's okay. So opening brace, opening parenthesis, closing parenthesis. This is always fun, just debugging in real time. Cannot find the name. Oh, well, I did that wrong. That's why. I fixed it there, but I didn't fix it here. Okay. I still don't know what's up with this. It's expecting a closing brace. Oh, I don't have one here for my movie data sample. So that'll go on the end of all this. All right. Are we set? Control S. There we go. And as soon as I do that, it goes and prints out the five names of the movies that we have. And so then I can go in and, and fill in the rest. So I can create a column uh, that's going to have the year. Now it is IntelliSensing for me. And this can be the director. And then we have the rating, so m dot rating. And then we have, lastly, the m dot category. 
And so it's going in, mapping out that JSON data that's come in, and it's going out one by one, printing this information out. And so now if I do a control S, then it automatically updates here and we get all the information. So the Avengers 2012, Josh Whedon, uh, the, the rating and the category all together in one. Now this goes back to my class name table. Can I do table bordered? I don't know what I have. It's not grabbing that information. So I need to get that in there in terms of making it look a little bit better. But for the sake of time, uh, I'm confident that you can figure that out. Let's go ahead and uh, continue on with our little example here. So the last thing I wanted to show, so I mean, obviously we could go put in a bunch of movies in a JSON file and it just prints them out with very few lines of code. This is very cool, right? And so we've got this element on here. We've got the, the, the movie list um, that's got these elements. It's got a heading and then the table and then the actual data from the table. And so then what makes it cool? Well, let me, I'm going to add on here a little button. So after the table's done, I'm going to put a button on here and I'm going to say the class name is equal to a button, button primary. So it looks like a button and has a little color there, primary. I don't think I set up my CSS though. This isn't going to work. Let's just, okay. So regular button. I'm trying to move now. And then on the on click of the button, what I want to do is call a little constant called add a movie. So I'm going to create a little function that goes in and we can add a movie. Now I'm just going to hard code it for now. But let me go put this button in here, save this. Um, oh yeah, it's not going to work yet, obviously, because I haven't added the function in for adding a movie. And so let me go uh, add in here. So inside my function, I'm going to create a const called add movie. And this is going to be one of our little functions that we build. So again, the format is if we're parentheses, if we, if we're receiving something, the Lambda, and then what we actually do in the function. Now, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, um, we'll call it uh, set list of movies. And in there, I'm going to just go in and put in first of all, so in square brackets, I'll put in the movies that uh, we already have. So I'm going to go to the movie data sample and grab those first. And then I'm just going to add one more movie. So we've got currently in our little list of movies um, in our JSON file, wherever it went. Uh, we've got here, we've got the, some of the Batman. So Batman, Batman and Robin, Batman Begins. Batman Forever, and then there's also one of the other Tim Burton ones was uh, Batman Returns. And so let's go add that entry in, but at runtime. So let's say, I mean, typically we'd have an add button and a form and the user would fill it out. But for just for the purposes of, the, of this example, I'm going to go make one more entry in there. So I'm going to say the category is action adventure, comma, the title is Batman Returns. The year, 1992. The director for that one was Tim Burton. And the rating is PG-13. All right, so then, uh, I think we're good there. Let's save that, okay. And then, uh, this is what I was thinking about, the set list of movies. I had this in my notes. And yeah, I just missed a step. So the idea here was to create uh, something that would update this list of movies. Um, so in here, I would put in, uh, uh, just like we did before, a const called list, list o movies. And then there's going to be a set list O movies is the way I had it in my notes. So let's change this to be list O movies. And that's going to be equal to what's our initial state. And just look at the clock. We're going to need to finish this example in the next video. Spencer out. Good cliffhanger, huh?